Hey everybody, it's Collected Dude. I'm going to go through this Doctor Strange book. This was won by um, one of my uh, viewers in a pop contest. Uh, and I wanted to go do a flip through for it. Uh, and we'll see what the insides look like. So this is a Doctor Strange number 12. Okay. Well, yeah, Jeremiah Torres won this one in one of the pop contests. Well, let's flip through this real quick so you can see what the artwork looks like. This is really cool. Jackson Juice, I think, is the guys is the artist on the outside. This is Doctor Strange number 12. It says, Doc loses his head over the Enchantress. You see, we got the inside here, the inside front cover, Stanley Presents. Cool cover, a cool picture. See, this came out in 1989, wow. Opening shot here on the splash page is cool. Doctor Strange floating in the air. This guy back there, I forget this guy's name. This creature's name walks around in there. Some Enchantress Evening. He's talking to Morgana. You see more artwork here. Look how they did the, the uh, they did some type of cut out there or something like that. It's like acetone or some type of um, zipatone. I forget what it's called, something like that, what they put on there just for shading and stuff. Instead of using ink or color. The hairstyles and the way they dress and everything it looks like really 80s, early 90s stuff. That's what it is. There we go. It looks like if you watch any of those movies back in the 80s and 90s, how they dressed and everything, the beach movies and the hair. Really cool. Great artwork. Something serious going down here. She's asking for help or something like that. She was asking him to help her. I think she's just tricking him. It's the Enchantress. Uh-oh. Here we go. If you've never seen the inside of this book, now hopefully you um you enjoy this. Like I said, I'm just going through, just showing you, not reading it or anything like that. Just going through, showing you the artwork on the inside. Because like I said, I see a lot of books, and I love to see the inside of what the artwork looks like. Nothing major. Maybe a little talk about it or something like that, but just to show you what the artwork looks like. Some books I do more in-depth into them, but, and some I don't. But really nice artwork. I like uh, Jackson's artwork. Cool. Benny, for your thoughts, beautiful. The glasses and the style. That's kind of wild with the eyes there. Some of the different eyes, things look like they're not drawn quite right. But it's kind of a little more realistic style, like that one. Look at the eyes. It's like, wow, that's off. Well, the coloring did it or something like that. I'm not sure what the original artwork looked like. Nope, Doctor Strange. Early? Why are you dressed like on the cover of Now Magazine? <laughs> Oh, she's she's getting him. I think you know why, Enchantress. That's cool. Oh, I got some type of hypnotic spell there. It's like kissing him like Poison Ivy does. Keep him under her spell or something. Oh, something's going on here. Oh. You were toying with me, even using your real name, Amora. Thinking I wouldn't know it? But now the time for games has passed. Executioner, execute! With pleasure. Nope. Not gonna happen. See those hands? Forming that spell. Wow. 
in the rain. One more, there's more action. Knowing of the entrances and executioner mostly by hearsay, I let myself get suckered into fighting the two of them at once. Like the cool colors on that. Clear. Eyes look kind of weird there. Okay. It looks like a fight here. So you are Doctor Strange's little princess? I'm no storybook princess, but the rightful queen of the Dark Dimension. Ooh. Okay. See, a lot of these, there's so much writing, so much story. You can see a lot of words, a lot of story talking and everything. This time, this time I'll come to you. Look at that. Look at the hairstyle. The mustache and everything. Magnum P.I. stuff. Oh, now he's kissing her. Archon. Okay. I know that. At least for a fleeting moment. Let's see what he's got to say. All's right with the worlds. But for how long? Next, Archon's New York Adventure. The comic book. Hmm. Okay. Now we got to hear a story here. The Curse of the Darkhold... Part 4, The Legacy of Elfric, The Book of the Vishanti. Color there, and then black and white. That's kind of cool. Explaining something in the past. Make sure the page is good. And this this book was already sent uh, a few months ago to, or weeks ago to, the winner Jeremiah. This is just a copy, an extra copy that I have. I just I didn't do the flip through yet, so I want to try to do it now. I got to catch up on some of the things. I got the Pope in here. Well, what's going on here? Wow. Some secrets, however, cannot be kept by the living from the dead. Oh. There's some sickness going on here. Woof. Wild stuff. And so a dynasty was founded, a holy dynasty which for eight centuries has dedicated itself to the eradication of all vampires. But that's a battle we won. When Dracula perished, every vampire on Earth perished with him. For all time, didn't they? Didn't they? Next, the story of Vinay's. Okay, now we got strange mails. All the letters and everything they send in. I think these are cool, cool sections to have. And you got your ads. More ads. Spidey. 25 years ago, we turned the comics world upside down. The stories that started it all, Marvel Masterworks. Those are cool. Now available in hardcore collector's editions. Now we get the back. That's a cool book. Cool series here. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, I just want to do a flip through. Let me know if you have any suggestions how you want me to do it. If you want me to explain something or anything. But I just like to show the artwork. And the guys really are... 
really great artist. And I think, um, I hope I got it right, that the guy's name is Jackson, Jackson Guise or Geis. So, there we go. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, you guys. Have a great day, and Collect the Dude is out.